good morning students today we are discuss about the new lesson lesson 9 the living organism characteristics and habits so what is the name of the topic the living organisms characteristic and habitat so already you have studied in our previous class you know what is that meaning of living things and non living things you know so the first the earth is consist of only in the two things you know so from the beginning itself the have will you origin that living organisms in that atmosphere or earth so there are the so many theories also is there you know so some of the scientists they are telling the living organisms is made up of from that non living organisms அதாவது ஒரு உயிரில பொருள் எப்படி வந்திருக்கு அப்படின்னு சொல்கிறாங்கன்னா ஒரு உயிரற்ற பொருள்லேருந்து வந்திருக்கலான்னு சொல்கிறாங்க ஓகேவா ஸோ தேர் ஆர் த சோ மெனி தேரிஸ் இஸ் தேர் ஓகே ஸோ த ஏர்த் இஸ் கன்சிஸ்ட் ஆஃப் ஒன்லி இந்த டூ திங்ஸ் ஒன் திங்ஸ் இஸ் எ லிவிங் திங்ஸ் அண்ட் அனதர் ஒன் இஸ் நான் லிவிங் திங்ஸ் இனோ ஆல்ரெடி இனோ த வாட் ஆர் த திங்ஸ் we will consider the living and what are the things we will consider that non living you know the living things means the living things it has some of the special character so what are the special character for example you know so like the growth and movement and respiration and reproduction and stimuli so these are the special character it present only in that living organism okay so that's why we are saying in that living organisms keep up namma eppadi oru things vand living organism solra appadina so this organism it has some special character what are the character growth and movement and respiration and reproduction okay and the feelings are stimuli so in the character alla irundha mattum na mena solrom oru uyir oru porula vande uyirula porun solrom okay for example like the human beings or trees or animals so that living things you know how will you say the human being is considered a living things the human being has the growth and movement number whenever you will birth so that time you are the very small okay so after 5 years your height will be increase then 20 years or 25 years your height and weight also will be increase so that is called the growth and that movement the movement mean the living organism it can move from one place to another place okay va the movement mean that organism it can use it in the some special parts it can use it for that moving purpose that is called that movement and the respiration you know the living organism only have that respiration you know the exchange of gases you know it will take that oxygen and give out the carbon dioxide so that process is called what that respiration and the reproduction the reproduction means they giving the egg ones you know the increasing the population in that particular species that is called that reproduction and the feelings are stimuli okay va so unarchigal okay va so whenever you pinch in your hand so that time how do you feel you feel some pain so that is called the feelings of stimuli so these are the common character only for living things okay for example plants and animals and human beings even the microorganism itself we will consider the living things and the non living things so non living things so these are all character everything is absent there is that no movement there is the no respiration there is the no growth there is the no feelings everything is absent for example like that air water and soil so these are the non living things and one thing without non living things we never 
able to survive in that atmosphere in that living organisms so living organism irukuna appadina adukku enna thevai appadina oru non living things irundha mattum dhaan living organism survive panna mudiyum for example the soil is considered the non living things okay va so without soil there is the no living organism because the plants where will grow for example uh, for example the human beings or animals you know where will get food so we will uh, food we will food get from plants okay so where will grow plants soil okay va there is the no soil mean then how will you grow the plants there is the no plants means so where will you get food so definitely everything is absent that is not impossible so all the living organisms is always depending upon the non living things okay so these are the special character of living things okay and next one and another one important things you know we are saying the living things you know so on the uirulla pol vandu eppadi uruvagudhu nu paakanum okay va how will you origin that living things all the living organism is made up of cell okay va cell c e l l cell okay va all the living organisms is made up of cell okay va or cell mooliyama da or uiruna uruvagud okay va so what is cell what is cell cell is nothing but the structural and functional unit of organism cell means nothing but the structural and functional unit of organism it is called cell it is very important two more questions okay va write in your book the cell means nothing but the structural and functional unit of organism structural and functional unit of organism that is called what cell okay and first cell cell end enna form aguduna tissue eppadi or organism form aguduna from the cell from the cell or cell la irundha da or organism form aguduna okay the cell means what the structural and functional unit of organism that is called cell cell la enna sir form aagudhu appadina tissue form aagudhu tissue form aagudhu tissue means what tissue means a group of cells to perform a specific function tissue means what a group of cells to perform a specific function that is called what tissue okay tissue lende enna form aagum appadina organ organ enna appadina paathina a group of tissues to perform a specific function that is called organ organ na and the tissue all na change enna form aagud organ form aagud and next one organ system organ system means what the group of organ to perform a specific function that is called what organ system okay va wow. organ system mean a group of organ to perform a specific function that is called what the group of organs to perform a different function okay what wow. different function that is called what organ system like that uh, respiration reproduction excretion okay. so everything is a organ system and next to finally the organism finally what will mean the organism okay va so the cell cell in enna form agudhu tissue tissue lende organ organ lende organ system next organisms okay va so this is the basic concept of that living organisms and you have seen the different kinds of living organism surrounded us even you have seen in our near the house you have seen that animals some small insects some small plants like herbs or like trees also you have seen so that all the one it is considered that living things you know so the different kinds of living organism it can survive in the different places okay va different kinds of organism it can 
survive in that survive in that different conditions for example in the plains region you know in the earth is has the different types of land form first you know the some of the region is flat land and some of the desert and some of the mountain okay and the cold regions also okay so different kinds of animal it can survive in the different regions the some of the region it can survive in the plain and some of the regions it survive in the desert and some of the regions survive in the cold region and some of the organism it can survive in the mountain regions so different kinds of organism it can survive in the different regions okay va like for plains regions you know so like what are the living organism it can survive in the plains regions you know and you are going to uh, desert region you know what kind of organism it can survive in that region then you go to mountain region what kind of organism it can survive in that region you go to cold condition a cold region so what kind of organism it can survive so different kinds of organism it can survive in that different areas can different areas okay va like so the different types of land form is there like plains region and desert and water region you know and that mountain region and cold region so the different kinds of animal it can present in the different areas okay thank you students